हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे लेट्स स्टडी हाउ टू डिजाइन अ सी क्लैम्प सो बेसिकली अ सी क्लैम्प इज अ पोर्टेबल डिवाइस यूज फॉर क्लैम्पिंग और होल्डिंग अ वर्क पीस फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट वी मीन होल्डिंग अ वर्क पीस और अ पाइप और शीट मेटल फॉर कटिंग एंड बेंडिंग पर्पसेस इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ स्क्रू एंड अ नट मैकेनिज्म वन जॉ ऑफ द सी क्लैम्प इज फिक्सड वेर एज द अदर जो ऑफ द सी क्लैम्प इज मूवेबल विच इज इन द अप एंड डाउन मोशन सो दीज आर द कंस्ट्रक्शनल डिटेल्स ऑफ अ सी क्लैम्प दिस इज नोन एज द फ्रेम विच विच इज मेड ऑफ माइल स्टील और कास्ट आयन वी हैव स्क्रू विच थ्रेड्स एम्बेडेड ऑन दैम ऑफ सर्टन पिच एंड लेड दिस इज द लेंथ ऑफ द हैंडल फ्रॉम द सेंट्रोडल एक्सिस टू द एंड ऑफ द लेवर we have a nut embedded in the frame through which the screw will convert rotational motion into translational motion so we have two sections as shown xx and yy so what are these sections basically when you rotate the handle the torque which is applied will tend to bend the screw above the xx or shear the screw so we have two section and at section yy it may be subjected to shear stress or crushing stress therefore as two different stresses act on the screw body we have to calculate stresses at two sections that is xx and yy this is the clamp and here the force will be applied that is w this is the frame and these are the constructional details of a c clamp so now i already have a numerical with me so the minimum force exerted by the clamp is 4 kN type of screw single start square thread for a c clamp sing square through square threads are preferred because they have higher efficiency than trapezoidal threads so the pitch is 2 mm coefficient of friction that is mu is 0.12 coefficient of collar friction mu c is 0.25 mean collar radius 6 mm nut height is 25 mm so nut height this h is 25 mm we have to find the length of handle maximum shear stress and where it exists it means at xx or at yy and the bearing pressure in the threads so we have been also given a force of 80 newton to be applied on the handle by the operator so this is the given data we have let's start designing and as it contains a power screw the first step will be to calculate mean diameter which is d minus p divided by 2 so d was 12 minus the nominal diameter minus the pitch which is given as 2 mm divided by 2 which is 11 mm so next is core diameter we have to find out because we have not been given the core diameter which will be d the major diameter minus the pitch will give us the core diameter that is 12 minus 2 is 10 mm alpha that is helix angle tan inverse directly writing n into p upon pi into nominal or sorry mean diameter which is tan inverse start is given as 1 pitch is given as 2 pi into nominal diameter is 11 which will be 3.31 degree phi is tan inverse of mu which is equal to tan inverse 0.12 we are considering the screw friction and not the collar friction therefore we take 0.12 so phi is equal to 6.8428 degree also a new term which will be here introduced is z that is engagement so engagement is the number of threads on the screw which will match the number of threads in the nut therefore z is equal to h upon p h will be the nut height p will be the pitch so 12.5 taking it as 13 we cannot go less than 12.5 we can take 13 so 
this was the basic calculation and now let's further move how to calculate effort to raise a load that will be PR denotion PR is equal to W into tan phi plus alpha as we are using square threads here we know we do not need to find out the virtual coefficient of friction therefore we can take the directly values of phi and alpha so w has been given as 4 kilonewton into tan into phi will be 6.8428 plus alpha is 3.31 degree so Calculating it 4 into 10 raised to 3 into 4 into 10 raised to 3 into tan 6.8428 plus 3.31 which will be 716.28 Newton. So this is the effort required to raise the load. Next will be torque required to raise the load torque required to raise we will denote it by TTR which will be PR into nominal diameter divided by 2 716.28 into the nominal diameter was 11 mm divided by 2 we will get it as 3940 Newton mm the third step is to calculate TC or the collar torque we, we are using the uniform wear theory by default which was mentioned in the last lecture so it will be mu into W into RM RM will be the collar radius or the collar diameter provided and mu will be the collar coefficient of friction so 0 0.25 into 4000 in Newton and RM is equal to 6 which will come approximately 6000 Newton mm now fourth step the total torque which is equal to TTR plus TC so it is 9940 plus 64 Newton mm so step 2 will be calculation of length of the handle which will be LH so it will be the basically how to calculate the length will be torque is equal to force exerted by the operator into length of handle all we all know that torque is equal to force into distance similarly we are calculating torque is equal to force of force of the operator into length of the handle TR we have calculated 9940.64 the operator will apply a force of 80 newton at a certain distance so this certain distance will be 9940.64 divided by 80 124.258 mm 124.26 mm so this will be the length of the handle from the centroidal axis of the screw to the length to the end of the handle so the next step is calculation of additional length for gripping because we cannot rely on the original length so let's assume we have given a grip of 60 mm the le is equal to lh plus 60 mm so 124.26 plus 60 will give us as 184.26 mm we have to always provide some gripping to the handle for the operator to increase the force to be applied so the st third step is stresses in a screw body let's consider the section XX so the section XX as we all know was this, this section which was under shear and under bending because the force will be applied on the handle and when you rotate the handle it will tend to bend on the either sides so bending or shear will be the criteria 
for designing the screw at the section XX. The first step is calculation of torsional shear stress as we are imparting rotational motion to the screw body. So tau screw will be TR upon which will be the torque upon pi by 16 into the core diameter Q. Here we are taking the weakest element and is to be designed that will be the core diameter. The, high, the largest diameter that is nominal diameter should not be considered because it is strong enough to withstand the torque. It, will, it might fail at the core diameter therefore we are designing it at the core diameter which will be 9940.64 upon pi by 16 into 10 cube. So it will come approx 50.63 Newton per mm square. So we have been done the torsional shear stress. Next will be calculating the bending stress. For the bending stress we need to find out the bending moment and similarly bending moment is equal to force applied into length of handle. Because the force will be applied at the handle at a distance of 150 mm, 80 Newton will be applied. So the bending moment is force into distance. We get 80 into 150 which is 12,000 Newton mm. This is, the, is, this is just a bending moment and now we have to calculate the section modulus. Section modulus is Ixx upon Y which will be pi by 64 dc raised to 4 upon dc divided by 2. So calculating the section modulus we will be getting it as pi by 32 dc 2 ones are 2 threes are dc1 and this will be q so pi by 32 dc q next sigma b is bending moment upon section modulus or denoted as z which will be 12000 divided by pi by 32 10 q sigma b is 1 2.23 Newton per mm square so using the maximum shear stress theory so the maximum shear stress will be under root sigma b of the screw square divided by 2 plus the shear stress of the screw divided by 2 which will be approximately 79.36 Newton per mm square. So this was the design of the section XX and now let's move towards the design of section YY for the screw body. So as stated, as stated the section YY is under crushing and direct compressive load. So it will be facing crushing stress as well as the shear stress. So we have to consider these two criteria for designing the section YY. Section YY. First, as it is under direct compression load, we can calculate crushing stresses, which is sigma crushing or sigma compressive stresses on the screw will be force upon simple area. So force is 4000 Newton divided by pi by 4 10 square. So sigma crushing will be 50.93 Newton per mm square. Second, we have to calculate the shear stresses. Simple formula for shear stresses. Torque upon pi by 16 the core diameter cube. So 6000 upon pi by 16 10 cube which will be 30.56 Newton per mm square again using the maximum shear stress theory we have to find out tau which is equal to so tau 
using the maximum sh shear stress theory is sigma c of the screw plus tau s square which is equal to 50.93 divided by 2 square plus 30.56 divided the answer is 39.78 newton per mm square comparing it with the last answer it was 79.36 on the section xx therefore we conclude that <coughs> maximum stress is 79.36 newton per mm square at section xx we have completed 75 percent of the numerical and the only step remaining is to find out the bearing pressure on the threads so step four the bearing bearing pressure denoted by pb is equal to force upon area force upon area that is d minus dc square into the section modulus so 4000 divided by pi by 4 the nominal diameter minus core diameter into section modulus uh, section, this is the engagement and earlier use was section modulus so you can denote engagement by z with a marking in the middle so the bearing pressure will be 8.9 newton per mm square so these are the steps which will be asked in the examination to design a C clamp and nothing apart from this may be asked in a C clamp it is a lengthy process and you need to be very careful with the calculator and calculation so as to get the correct answer you have to always remember that section YY is under torsion that is shear stress and compressive stresses and section XX is under shear stresses and bending stresses so this is a numerical of C clamp like comment and subscribe and also if any queries you can ask in the comment section below stay tuned for further screwjack numericals which will be explained in the next video thank you